Okay, good afternoon. My name is Mihi Nagal. I'm a junior scientific researcher at the Romanian Research Institute for uh, Gas Turbines, Pomoti. Uh, and today I'm going to present the paper called Numerical Analysis of the Interaction of Savonius Vertical Axis Wind Turbines in Three Type Cluster Configurations. Uh, before going to the subject, I'm going to motivate a little bit our research interest. First of all, in the last uh, few years, there was a large-scale acceptance of renewable energy harvesting technologies that was mainly motivated by fossil fuels uh, depletion, ongoing climate crisis, and continuous growth in the energy demand. Uh, to mitigate these uh, above-mentioned uh, effects, uh, the European Commission had uh, already defined clear roadmaps um, to reduce the net uh, greenhouse gas emissions by 55% to uh, 2030 and also to reach a 40% of renewable energy uh, by uh, 2030 uh, as well. Uh, moreover, uh, wind, gen wind energy is a plentiful and tireless uh, source of energy in Europe, and in 2022 uh, alone, 17% uh, of the European electricity demand was uh, produced by uh, uh, wind uh, power, um, namely 487 terawatts wind power. Uh, to reach the above-mentioned uh, targets of the European Commission, uh, the Europe has to uh, installed uh, about 31 gigawatts per year uh, wind power and the current figures are just around uh, 20 gigawatts per year so we are a little bit below that's it. that means there is a market and there is a demand for uh, energy installation um, our focus is uh, mainly on uh, urban environment uh, turbine installations and we are uh, mainly working on vertical axis wind turbines uh, especially uh, clusters and arrays of uh, multiple uh, uh, turbines. Um, the design challenges for this kind of uh, arrays um, come from the fact that they have to uh, possess a large power density uh, to, uh, per uh, area. Uh, they have to be low noise, but at the same time they should uh, have aesthetic design and they sh should operate efficiently in unsteady wind conditions that are characterizing the urban environment. So uh, the paper, the today's paper, is going to focus on a three-type uh, vertical axis wind turbine. I will show it in a minute. Um, I will show some uh, numerical results for this kind of uh, turbine, and I will explain a little bit the results and our future work. Um, our um, prototype looks like uh, this tree that uh, accommodates um, 27 corrotating Savonius type uh, vertical axis wind turbines. They are actually grouped uh, on uh, three levels and the overall uh, height is, uh, of, the, of the tree is uh, 7 meters. Uh, the parameters for uh, each individual um, turbine are reported in uh, the table. They are designed for a nominal power of uh, 200 watts uh, with a turbine height of 1 meter, turbine diameter 0 0.5 meters, and an overlap ratio that actually characterizes the Savonius photons of 0 0.1. Uh, one has to pay attention to this kind of configuration uh, because even if the uh, vertical axis wind turbines are well known for their omnidirectional feature, uh, when clustering them, this feature becomes uh, questionable uh, because some coupling effects may arise between the turbines and some uh, turbines may operate in beneficial uh, coupling effects while the others may, may have um, downside uh, effects, let's say. Um, for this uh, paper, we have um, uh, used just 2D unsteady numerical simulations. So actually we performed a cut on the uh, 3D geometry that I have just presented. Uh, the numerical uh, domain was discretized by ANSI meshing with a 2D unstructured grid uh, about uh, um, 
300,000 uh, uh, cells. They are uh, nine, nine uh, subdomains, one stator and nine rotors, the rotors that are present on uh, each level. Um, the blades and the shafts uh, were, to the blades and to the shaft, the, uh, an, an, an inflation was applied with one millimeter first element size, 15 layers and 1.2 growth rate. And in order to uh, make the interface move, uh, there was also grid refinement uh, refinement uh, close to the interface and in proximity of the interface with maximum element to millimeter. Uh, the incoming wind is uh, 12 meters per second from uh, that direction that is suggested uh, on the picture. So there is only one incoming wind direction. For multiple uh, wind directions, we will focus our studies uh, in the future as well. Uh, unsteady Reynolds average Navier-Stokes simulations were performed in uh, ANSYS Fluent with uh, turbulence modeling involving uh, four equations, Reynolds theta gamma transitional SST model. Uh, the time step uh, corresponds to a two degree uh, revolution in the turbines and for each case 10 full uh, revolutions were simulated. Now uh, moving to, uh, to the results. Um, this plot shows the vorticity magnitude for different tip speed ratios, so for different regimes of the turbines, uh, from 0 0.7 up to uh, tip speed ratio 1. And we can easily understand from here that uh, rotors 1, 2, 3 and 5 have actually no upstream uh, influence with the current simulating direction of the wind. Uh, while uh, the vorticity created by these ones uh, is uh, advected to the ones that are in the wake, for example, 4, 7, 6, uh, 8, and 9. And we will see uh, later that some of them uh, have downside effects due to this uh, vorticity advection, while the others have positive coupling effect with uh, enhanced performance. Uh, now, moving to uh, the torque versus uh, angle plot that was um, drawn for, TS, uh, for TSR 0 0.7 for a full revolution from 0 to 360 degrees, we can see that uh, rotor number 4, which is placed uh, very close downstream rotor 2, has an altered incoming uh, wind uh, and it uh, has a penalty in the operation with very low torque values or even negative so it, it is actually um, working like a brake more than a, than a turbine to harvest the energy um, then uh, moving to rotor 7 uh, we can see that uh, rotor 7 operation uh, is also penalized in terms of torque and even if there is a large uh, distance for wake recovery um, downstream rotor one and two, there is not uh, enough space for the for the wake to recover, and so uh, rotor seven has a penalty in the op operation uh, as well. Um, regarding rotor six, uh, even if it's closed in proximity and in the wake of both rotor three and five, um, it, uh, it shows a positive wake field coupling um, of rotor three and five, which are uh, counterclockwise counter rotors, but uh, co-rotating. So uh, it, despite being in the wake, it shows quite uh, large figures of the, of the torque. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, uh, rotors 1, 2, 3, and 5 uh, does, uh, do not see any upstream influence, so their uh, torque is uh, quite close in terms of figures, as we can also see here in the, in the torque plot. Uh, moving on, uh, we have also plotted uh, the torque and power. Now, uh, against the tip speed ratio. So we have four tip speed ratios from 0 0.7 to one. And we also 
have all the nine rotors that are also uh, depicted in the sketch. Uh, again, we can see the poor operation uh, for rotor 4 that has to be uh, improved. Uh, this is especially found for TSR 0.7 and TSR 1. Uh, regarding rotors 1, 2, 3 and 5, we can see a decreasing trend uh, in the torque and a quite uh, uh, constant, uh, quite a, a plateau actually in the, in the power. Regarding uh, rotor 8, that sees a little bit the wake from rotor 4, um, we have a non-monotonic torque, so we have a minimum at 0 0.8 TSR and a maximum close to 0 0.9 TSR. And uh, for, tor for rotor 6, there is a favorable uh, aerodynamic coupling, as we have seen also before in the uh, torque vers versus uh, angle plot. And it, um, it reaches uh, very large uh, figures, actually not very large, but larger figures in terms of uh, torque and in terms of power as well for the majority of the, uh, let's say, regimes in terms of uh, TSR. Uh, the rotors 6 and 8, as I've seen, uh, as we have seen, actually exceed for some uh, regions the nominal uh, design power of the individual tur turbine. Uh, now to conclude our uh, to conclude my presentation and uh, our work, um, the ve vertical axis wind turbine clusters, especially those for urban arch architecture, should fulfill uh, competing design and performance requirements at the same time, and. Here I have to mention the reduced footprint, the low noise, high performance, aesthetic design, and last but not least also uh, the low cost uh, operation. We have seen by means of 2D studies performed uh, for our three type uh, array vertical axis wind turbine uh, that two rotors showed uh, reduced performance in the low TSR region and aug augmented performance uh, close to uh, 0 0.9 and we have seen also that uh, there was a rotor namely rotor 4 in the figure that was strongly affected by the others actually by the wake effects of wake effects from uh, rotor 2 uh, as future work uh, we actually we have a lot to do so we plan to perform uh, to these studies at different heights of the tree um, to perform to these studies with different incoming wind directions and profiles because the urban environment is characterized by, by high unsteadiness. Um, and last but not least, uh, we are actually in the manufacturing, um, let's say, progress of a full scale experimental model of the tree. Uh, that we are going to test in real operating conditions in our uh, facility uh, that is in the Danube Delta, so close to close to Black Sea and, and the Danube Delta. I conclude here my presentation. Thank you for your attention, and I'm uh, open to questions.